we're going to get a little technical today. Bear with me. Take a deep breath. Ready? Okay. Let's break it down. It sounds uh, sleazy, salesman, gross, if I say, hey, here's a really cool vacuum, but it, here's just the motor of the vacuum. If you want the hose that connects to the vacuum, it's another 20 bucks. If you want the handle that holds the hose and connects it to the vacuum motor, it's going to be another 20 bucks. Uh, and it's not on wheels. So if you want me to put wheels on the vacuum, that's going to be about 15 bucks. If you want the cordless version, uh, then that's going to be another 120 bucks. That sounds sleazy. That sounds gross. We don't want to be those types of dog trainers when it comes to sales. However, there are some things that can be used really effectively when it comes to presenting your offer. Sometimes, depending on what service you provide, people don't want everything. So if you do a board and train program and you're looking at it and you're, you're writing out your offer and you're saying, okay, well, I have this board and train. It's two weeks but I also want to do an extended six-month training program where they meet with me every single week. And I also want to do 24-7 support. And I also want to give them access to this university of courses that I've created. And I also want to give them a free membership to my group classes because they've gone through the training and their dog's good. I also want to give them a discount for this boardwalking, uh, not boardwalking, but these uh, walking classes or this other trainer that I work with who offers walking services. I want to give them a discount on that. And you want to do all of these things. Sometimes putting too much in the offer will overwhelm people. And if you put it all into one, the ticket price might seem really high. Trying to do all that might cost $10,000. And some people would just look at that number and say, it's not happening. So what we can do and how we can combat this is using what's called an unboxing funnel. The way I think about offers is if you had a package, a a present to give your potential clients and hey do you want this present and they said wow that looks really good uh, but it's missing something and you said oh that's right and you wrapped it in gift paper and you put a nice bow on it those embellishments are what makes an offer stand out and so the more embellishments you add the more someone goes oh my god what is that offer i want to check it out so what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap it and unbox and lay out all of the pieces of the offer in a structured, organized way. Let's look at it. So, if you watched yesterday's video, which if you haven't, go back and watch it. Yesterday's video, we talked about upsells. I have traffic that goes to a sales page that helps someone understand who I am, what I do, and how they can work with me. And then an order form where they can put in their card information and purchase the service that we're talking about. This is after you've had a consultation. So you might have them go to the sales page after a phone call or in person. Or depending on the service and, you know, what you provide, you might be able to do it directly from social media like YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. But here's the benefit. So the sales page has the core offer. Here's our board and train program. It's two weeks long. This is everything we do in it. And afterwards, we support you for 24-7 access. Anytime you need a question answered, you just email us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can kind of thing. So someone says, yeah, I really want to do that. It's $2,000. Fantastic. Or it's $1,000 in this case. And so you say, cool, $1,000. Let's do it. So out of 500 people you get there, 25 people say yes. So you've made $25,000. And these numbers are right here up at the top. So 25 people said yes, $25,000. Now here, right after they say yes, they want to do it, and they submit their card information, before you process their order, you show them one of the other services that you'd like to add. You say, hey, after the board and train, a lot of people ask for us to continue training with them for at least six months to make sure any problem behaviors get washed away quickly and we can continue the the success and move them towards their ultimate goals of joining an agility class or being able to kayak with their dog, whatever it is. So you say, hey, for 500 bucks, we'll give you the six months instead of charging our typical 2,500. And someone says, oh my God, that sounds fantastic. So they add it for 500 bucks. Instead of you including it in the main offer, this seems like it's separated. They're getting more. Even though you're kind of solving the same problems you would have if it was all together, it's less confusing for people. They go, okay, I'm getting more things. Right? It's the difference between going to the store and getting a, a dinner kit that's got, let's say, a Thanksgiving dinner kit that's got the turkey and the ham and the the... Uh, turkey and ham. I guess this is the big dinner. We got turkey, ham, cranberry sauce, right? All of that kind of stuff. 
stuffing, uh, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, sweet potato casserole, uh, roasted vegetables, all of that stuff in a kit, and the box is pretty small versus you going out and buying all these things. It seems like so much more when you're buying all of these different things. So in this case, you say, hey, do you want to do the six-month training? They say, yep, want to do the 500. If they say no, for 50 bucks, you can say, hey, do you want to try one month free of our walking services to try to get your dog's energy out while you're learning the new ways to train your dog? They say, oh, my God, that sounds fantastic. If they say yes to that, then you show them the next thing. And so essentially what you're doing is you're taking apart all these uh, factors that you could put into one. You could. There's nothing wrong with putting them into one. You might run into the problem of overwhelming your potential clients, though, especially if the price would be much higher, right? It's a $10,000 ticket versus a $1,000 ticket with all of the add-ons that they want to do, right? For me, in my uh, funnel building business for dog trainers, I say, hey, do you want this system, right, where we do a, a lead page, we do an application funnel, we do a thank you page, a email sequencing. Do you want to add another funnel to it? Right, I could just toss that in there, but it would increase the price by a thousand, two thousand dollars, depending on the type of funnel I'm building. If I say, Hey, do you want to add it in? It seems separate, it seems like it's breaking it down a little bit more digestible, and people have the option to opt in for it, yes or no. It gives some flexibility, puts control back into the potential client, and makes it easier for you to say, Listen, do you want to do it? Yes or no. If you do, fantastic, we'll move forward. If no, no pressure, we'll just move on. And you can do that. Uh, there was a study done. They essentially, <laughs> they added in like eight more steps. And people didn't get annoyed. They were just like, okay, no, I don't want that. Yes, I do want that. No, I don't want that. You're basically asking people, do you want this? Yes or no. Instead of, this is the offer. Buy all of it or none of it. That's the beauty of it. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. If you haven't been keeping up to date with all of the other videos, you got to go check them out. Click the subscribe button to never miss a marketing business and sales video on dog training businesses. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.